Hey guys, it's Brock with BAM again. We're out here at a fence that we just completed not long ago, and I'd like to talk a little bit about it. Um, there's a few things I'd like to go over. One is the material selection, of course, and another thing is just the workmanship of this fence. So first off, the material selection. You know, I had a customer call me this morning, and he was talking to me about a fence that he wants to build in his backyard. And he was telling me nobody's really ever going to see the fence, so he just wanted to go with the cheapest option, like using treated pine pickets and posts. And I was telling the guy, um, I was putting in perspective to him, you know, the cost of going, you know, cedar and pine. Okay, for example, say you have 100 feet of fence, and you go with a number two treated pine picket. Those boards are five and a half inches wide. And in 100 feet, you need 220 pickets. And if you go with the number one cedar picket, you only need 200. So you have 200 less pickets, and the difference in cost, 200 less pickets, you'll need 20 less pickets. And for that amount, it would cost you $150 more per 100 feet of fence to go with a number one cedar picket related to a, or compared to a um, number two treated pine picket. So it's $150 more, but you're getting 10 times better quality. And cedar is not only gonna last longer, it's not gonna bow, it's not gonna crack like pine is, and it also helps repel bugs. Another thing I wanna talk about are the post. See, on this fence, we used all steel post and we have these Simpson brackets on here, and these are, these are heavy duty. They don't bend very easy at all. They're very strong. And, you know, you can go with wood posts, like four by fours, and save a little bit of money. And I always, I like to work with my customers, because uh, I always try to get everybody to use steel posts, just because of the quality. The quality's a thousand times better. You know, the steel's not gonna rot and it's not gonna bow like these wooden posts will. And on average, you're looking at a one to two dollar per foot increase to use steel post. So you're looking, say we have a hundred foot of fence, you're looking at a hundred to two hundred dollars more to go steel. And it all depends on the height of the fence. That's why I'm saying one to two dollars an increase. So going with steel post is definitely a better choice just because it's a hundred times better quality and it's a little bit more expensive. One of my favorite things and my customer's favorite things about this fence, and it's something they really wanted, they wanted the top of this fence to be completely level. And if you look, the ground is not level at all. We have a high point down there, low, high, low, high. And at the bottom of the fence, the bottom completely contours of the ground but up top, it's completely level, 100% level, all the way across from this end to that end, which is 186 feet, and we have it completely level. Say so on this end, it's about six and a half feet. In the middle, it's about eight and a half feet, and on that end down there, it's seven feet. But it's all completely level up top, and this was something that the customer really wanted in this fence, and it's very aesthetically pleasing. You just have it nice and flush up top, but it covers the ground as well. And here's another option too, this customer wanted was this trim piece on the bottom. And we use these one by six. We just put a picket down here, down low. And then of course we have our trim up top. You know, this is a good example of, you know, we do everything custom. If you want something in particular, we'll work with you. You tell me what you want and we'll do it. I always go out to every job and I like to measure and give you an exact price. I mean, of course, talk about all the options, everything that you want. And I hardly ever give just a over the phone price. I like to make everything personable and so you know exactly what you're getting. So after I meet with you, then we'll get a price. And then if we agree to do the work, I always do a signed agreement so you feel safe and I feel safe and we know exactly what you're getting. And in my contracts, I go down to the very detail, and even to the size of the nail that we're using, to every board, everything. So you feel completely comfortable. And after that, we'll start on the fence. Of course, I always call 811 and have a dig test done to make sure we don't hit any lines. And after that, 
we come out and we set the post. And say we come out on Monday and set the post for your fence. We let those sit for two days or a day and a half and then come start building the fence. So say I come out Monday and set the post, I'll come back out Wednesday and start construction. We want to make sure that the concrete sets and that when we start framing up the fence that we don't mess up any of the concrete. We want it to be strong, so that's why we wait. And then you know, we just build your beautiful fence. So the whole process, it all depends on you know, the weather, uh, how quickly you're wanting to get it done, and how large the fence is, of course. So if you need a fence, call the number on the screen or visit our website. Mm -hmm.